Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Perceptor. This is G1 Perceptor by Takara Tomi. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. I have them still in the box, don't worry, I'll take them out. Okay, this G1 Perceptor doesn't look anything like them. <laughs> yeah, if you remember it. Uh, yeah, this is the prototype as you can see. Red, more red, a lot of red. Uh, you'll see definitely what it looks like when we take them outside of the box, back of the box. Look at Devastator. Yeah, this is a, this is G1. It doesn't have the tech specs back in the day. This is back in 1985. Maybe I can see the stamp, but you can see the Dinobots and everything else. Swoop in. When, well, I forgot uh, Trax's brother there. Yeah. And Devastator, of course, bad. Two points. So, what was it? Like 20, 1980 yen? Uh, I think he was a Voyager class, I'm not exactly sure. And yeah, I think it does magnify. It's supposed to. Uh, it, it really does work, but uh, I'm not gonna try it. I don't have that fancy a camera to show you. Inside, you can see the package real quick. Comes with Perceptor. It comes with three little missiles. Uh, one's already been broken out. Cool looking gun and a, another cool looking gun. How many guns does this guy need? Really? Well, take him out of the package. Ugh. Man, how'd I stuff that sucker in there? There we go. Yeah. Here's Perceptor. He is one ugly microscope. <laughs> For lack of a better term, he's a microscope. And there is also a... He has wheels and tank treads. So, I think it was supposed to be an alternate mode, like a tank tread mode, and this was supposed to be a gun, his big humongous freaking sight scope or whatever, uh, microscope, I, I don't know the parts of a microscope, but that's cool, as a freaking humongous Autobot symbol, and I like the little blood red coloring, not that little sissy red that they have in the packaging, uh, teal, other colors, uh, bright, ugly orange, so that's cool, um, let's see, I don't think it has any, the specimen tray here, it becomes his chest, not very conspicuous. It's one of those Cybertron-esque looking things. Ah, what a big mess. Five out of ten. What an ugly alt mode, really. Look at all the gaps. Seriously? And I know it has tank treads for a reason. To roll around? What the heck did it do? Alright, enough about this. Let's go ahead and transform him. Broke a little piece on the back and I'll show you what that means. I'm going to move his legs down. Put his little chest piece up. Move his arms out. Okay, move that down. Yeah, I know. Move that around so you get these nice cool. You see the rub symbol here. Yeah, there we go. Move his legs 180. Nice little sticker applications. There we go. I think, yep, it definitely does. So move his arms down. Oh, oh man, I, hope, I was hoping that would move, but all you have to do is just pop out his arms. I mean, it's not horrible. His robot mode is definitely better. I mean, a lot better. I believe it. And we're going to move the microscope bomb to the other side. It does click in on the side here, but I'm kind of leery about that. So I'm going to leave it. And the little lever on the back makes his head pop out. If I don't crack. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's got pretty good paint apps. I'm not going to say his head's pretty darn good. I really like his robot mode. It, I mean, it was meant to be displayed in robot mode because his robot mode is so superior. So superior. He has two guns, too. I mean, for a scientist, come on. Yeah, puts him in here. I'm not going to jab it in here. It does shoot. It has three of these missiles and it definitely shoots. Let's see. There's a friction. And I'm not in a balcony. Yeah! I gotta go find that. I think it flew about 15, 20 feet. Holy cow. No, no joke. All right, he does have this other nice little gun over here so he can John Woo that. Yeah, look at that. Bam, bam. Beautiful looking head. I'm not going to lie to you. I like the head. I like this. So the alt mode's definitely nicer. Has articulation. Way better than a lot of the articulation. And just to show you, see if you can stamp. It says Hasbro 1984. Takata Tomi 1984. Or Takata, before it was Takata Tomi. So, yeah. So shoulder does go all the way around it could move a little bit single jointed elbow no wrist swivel of course so it's doing good uh, no waist swivel legs ratchet out not forward knee bends single joint and has ankle 
pivot. So as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty darn good for the articulation, especially from 1985. Let's give him a size comparison here. Here's a deluxe class, so he's slightly taller than the deluxe class. I, I like the alt mode a lot better. Give him an 8 out of 10 because he's got great mobility. He's definitely meant to be displayed in alt mode. Alright, that's all I got YouTubers and I'll catch you all next time.